Hey guys, it's Survivalist Network here. Today, just gonna be talking about web gear. How to set your stuff up, get you squared away, and good to go. Alright. First, we're gonna start off with pistol belt. Pistol belt. There's a few different variations. This one has the plastic fast X buckles. There's plenty of other different versions, just look around. Me, I prefer these, but then you got the old Desert Storm, other type of plastic buckle. Then the Vietnam type uh, brass hook and loop. And then, now adjusting this, when you put it around, don't fit it, you know, with your underwear on or something. Fit it with all your, you know, your pants, your belt, fit it with that on because it's going to go around your hips. And when you fit it with just the belt, um, fit it to where you can fit at least two hands, you know, between you and the belt. Because you need room for this, the pistol belt pad. This is just foam that connects to here. And basically it just keeps these metal clips from digging into your sides. Makes it a bit more comfortable to carry, and also, it, in a way, allows you to carry more equipment. Because, this makes it tighter on you. So, you have to expand it, which gives you more space for more equipment. In a way. But, now, there's a bunch of different ways to hang your gear. You've got the LBVs. And you've got two different types of suspenders. You've got your standard Y suspenders. Let's see. The Y suspenders. See how much padding there is there, though? It's not very comfortable. Now, these are a bit less common, but I got. I've found myself coming into a few. These are desert suspenders. Now, instead of a Y, these go down in an H, like the old Vietnam type ones. But also, these are a lot thicker. They have a lot more padding than the other type. Be careful, though, because when you use these, if you don't adjust it right, these metal clips here on the back, uh, they if, when you wear a pack, these will dig into your sides, or your back. Just uh, keep your eyes out, figure out what you want to do. Personally, I like the LBVs for most things because you need to, me, my belief is you need to carry a minimum 12 magazines on you. Yeah. 12 30 round magazines. Now, to do that with web gear, you need to have four of these pouches on you, which that takes up quite a bit of space. Or, you can have an LBV on you, which carries six by itself, and then just carry two of these. Now, unless you're like, you know, airborne and you need to get in and out of parachute harnesses and stuff, then I can see it, but... Alright, so let's get it squared away. I'm going to start by attaching the pistol belt pad to the pistol belt. Let's see? Now you're going to, now, first we'll go over all the things you need. Let's, for this, you're going to need an LBV, pistol belt, pistol belt pad, two ammunition cases, two small arms ammunition cases, two uh, one-quart canteen covers, a large med medical kit, I usually just call these the jungle first aid kits, butt pack, we'll go over butt packs in a little bit. Weapons cleaning kit, or M16 cleaning kit, this one, 04. For this, one compass first, one or two compass first aid pouches. If you're running this, if you're running this, one. If you're not running it, two compass first aid pouches. These will hold a compass, or f a first aid dressing, or two. If I roll these with med gear, I usually roll with two. Um, optional, if you have the room, you know, put a two-quart on there. 
This isn't for water, though. This is uh, for a dump pouch. They're like a 200 round saw pouch or something. Um, when you're looking at web gear, don't put two quart canteens on as your uh, main, you know, as your water source. Carry one quart, and we'll go over that in a little bit. So, we'll start by affixing the pistol belt pad to the pistol belt and then putting it on the um, LBV. Alright, so we've got our pistol belt on, um, also, and our pistol belt pad connected to it. Um, we'll talk about pistol belt pads in another video as well as LBVs, and a few other things like the butt pack and stuff, but, well, the butt pack we're going to talk about now, the butt pack. Alright, there are lots of different kinds of these. You have M1956, which are like, kind of like this, but they're canvas. Um, I don't suggest getting those unless you're like some sort of reenactor. Then you have the M67, which are the same thing, except um, they're nylon. But they have, all the buckles are like these. Except they're also metal. These are plastic, but you can uh, get these replaced. This, then they have, you know, Spec Ops brand butt packs and stuff like that. This is the three-day field training pack. It's a bit bigger than the other ones I mentioned. Um, it's got, you know, webbing on the side for extra pouches and shit. It's a good piece of kit. I recommend it. You know. So everything's hanging here. You basically, you get ten, ten little connecting straps from the LBV to the pistol belt that you weave through with velcro and a snap button then what you're going to want to do with, I don't know if I told you this, but you're going to need a sharpie take a sharpie open it obviously and then color in all these little buttons especially if they're like mine, they're really shiny but then after you do that you're going to want to tape them but we can do that later I'm gonna cap my sharpie. Anyway, so we got this. Everything's hanging. The only parts where there should be really any of these showing are on the very back, but none on the side. The side should be clear because you have two layers of webbing here. So go through the underside, not the top, because that takes away a lot of space. And there you go. And then some of these, like this one right here, that's from the pistol belt pad. So there you go. First we'll attach, start with the butt pack. Alright, so we're going to take the butt pack, lay it right in the center, right? On the LBV, it's right below the US. We'll put it right there. Then uh, the two canteen pouches. Then the two canteen pouches on either side, so let's do it. Alright, so we've got the butt pack, two canteens. And our med kit mounted. Now, where you put your med kit kind of up to you, but I just always put it in that little area in the small of the back of the LBV. If you're using an LBV. Now, suspenders and stuff, it's all going to have to go on the belt. But, uh, LBV, you get some more attachment points. You get one on the back and then some on the shoulders, but we don't put shit on our shoulders unless we're assaulting. Um, and what I mean by assaulting is like storming a building or something, you know, this is meant for, this is field gear right here. This is meant for like ruck marching, trudging through the woods. You know, swamps and stuff. You know, you, we would never have this exuberant amount of shit on an assaulting load. But, um, pardon my language, but. Next I guess we'll just mount the ammunition pouches. Right, uh, depends on your side, like. This is the left side right here, so my ammunition is naturally going to go right there and there. Uh, something like that. Because I don't want to have to be reaching over to this side with my left hand for reloads. Uh, quick tip with the uh, ammunition pouches. If you've got rounds, rounds go down. This way... If uh, you lose, if rounds pop out of the feed lips, 
you don't lose them permanently. They stay caught in the bottom of the pouch. If a mag's empty, pretend this is empty, rounds go up. See? This way. Uh, we'll get into more about stuff like that later. Well, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and mount these. I'll mount the, those two pouches there and then the compass first aid pouch. Alright. Alright, so I've got our ammunition pouches mounted. And our weapons cleaning kit mounted with considerable amount of space left. You know, you got a little bit there and a little bit here. Which I might scoot this over a bit and then put the weapons or not. But uh, this is your basic set, you know. Now if you're bigger, you know, uh, I could expand this out a bit, but I like my web gear real tight. And right now this this is fit for my, you know, my body. Normally I wear these over body armor, these LBVs. I wear mine over my body armor. Um... I haven't fitted to that. <clears throat> so normally I get a lot more space on here. Uh, but this is fitted to just my waist right now. And I have like a 35 inch waist, I think. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but here we go. You're set and you're squared away. You got med, you know, you got med gear, water, food and field gear, ammunition, weapons cleaning equipment navigation stuff um, now what you do what I've always done is I keep in this you know if I'm not running med gear in here if I'm running in there what I do is you know your compass it should be around your neck on your first line just like why I don't keep a pistol on here or a handgun holster or anything is because that's on my first line um, when out in the field if I'm running an assault gear type thing I'll put it on like a plate carrier or something but field gear you want that you want like compass and um you know stuff like that pistol handgun on your first line uh which is on your body not on your web gear you got um yeah there you go uh there's other stuff like right there i usually keep a nine millimeter pouch or something but this is just outlining the basic one i'll show you my personal web gear set later this stuff's just extra land that's laying around hmm fish <clears throat> here you go uh you can add other stuff like if you're gonna use these use them as gp pouches or something don't but we'll go over this stuff later a couple tips tape your stuff see this where there's metal tape that and you just now you're probably thinking, you know, they'll, it's going to do this, your tape is going to do this, but it's going to stay stuck to the metal. Right here, tape. 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 Tape all of your metal. I need to tape this. Tie downs. Tie downs, I almost forgot that. Tie everything down to 550. What you're, you're going to do is on the Alice clip itself. You're gonna take about a foot of 550 cord. About a foot. <clears throat> Make sure it's good strong cord too, not like crappy Rothko 550. Five, 550 cord. Take it, take one end, run it through the belt loop, and around the belt, take the other, run it through the pouch itself, meet them at the bottom, meet them at the bottom here, take a little bit, tie it in a square knot, and then take the rest and tie it in an overhand knot. On every single eyelet. That means, you know, this here, one eyelet, one eyelet clip, one tie down. Here, two tie downs. Here, you know, nothing's going to have more than two eyelet clips. So basically, for this, you've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen feet. You know, 550. But it's time because these things, 
It's not like Molly. This stuff will come off with rough use. Uh, these little, those little things there, they will slide up. And make sure that they aren't. Some people I see make sure that they go into the little slot there. See that the little slot. Make sure they go in there. Make sure they don't kind of up like that, like over that. That's wrong. That's not good. Stuff's gonna fall fall away easier. Canteen pouches. One holds a, one holds a canteen. One holds a canteen cup. Canteen, a canteen cup, and a canteen cup stove. My canteen cup stove is not with me right now. Lens cap. But there will be a separate thing on canteen kits and stuff. Uh, ooh, also, this isn't done. Like I said, I'll show you my personal rig later in a separate video. Take, take your canteens around the bottleneck, tie a slip knot, and wrap it around. And you're going to have to test this out, but wrap it around, put it in your pouch, and then tie it to your belt. You know, tie it through the eyelet, is it? through one of the little... The little hole like these things tie them on there both canteens do that that's basically so that okay you know you're walking through the woods you go take a drink this should you know you see it you spot enemy but he doesn't see you you can drop the canteen about here and that it should be long enough to where you can reach your mouth and take a drink from the pouch but short enough to where when, if you drop it from standing it just swings um, and you don't hear all that shit and especially empty canteens on hard surfaces they will cause a lot of ra uh, racket <clears throat> tape your canteens tape them around the middle so that they nestle into the canteen cup I see people complaining about oh hey the canteen cup doesn't come out with the canteen tape it just tape it. Also, these pouches, they're good enough um, to where you can put about 25, you know, you can put a little bit of 550 cord at the bottom and still keep. Damn it. <sighs> One handed. And still keep the canteen in there. There you go. Um, so tape your metal. Obviously, don't tape adjusting straps or anything else. Don't tape like these. Because, you know, you might need to adjust it if you're not like... You know, some people, uh, kind of myself included to a degree, they sit there and they'll have, you know, a set a web set for summer rifleman than a web set for winter rifleman where it's all adjusted perfect and everything like that well I'm like that to a degree but a lot of people aren't um so just you know <clears throat> the only thing that you should put on your shoulders here is your angle head that's it <clears throat> all right well that concludes it oh yeah lighter that's to burn the ends of your 550 so they don't fray. Tape up your little cord lock things here on your LBV. Tape that so that they don't swing around all over the damn place. And there you go. Get yourself squared away. Like I said, look at the padding difference. This is why I prefer, this is one reason I prefer the LBVs. Look at that. That much padding. Yeah, that's like quarter, half inch. And you got this. And you got this. This is this is better for if you want to carry more magazines and have more room on your belt um, with body armor and stuff. You know, this is better. There's just a whole lot of stuff that we could go into, but that'll be for later.